See that dark area up there? Mm -hmm. It's an indication that there's cold air coming in. So we're actually looking through the wall right now. Yeah, it's kind of like x-ray vision. All right, Brian, so we are in a place that I know very well, the CNET Smart Home here in Louisville, Kentucky. If someone is looking to buy a house like this, or any house for that matter, what should they really look for in an inspector? You know, somebody who has a lot of experience. Most states have licensing requirements, so make sure that the person who is inspecting the house is licensed. Uh, the other thing I'd say is the consumer, you definitely want to uh, attend the home inspection. A lot of home buyers have concerns or questions about a house that end up not being a big deal, but you really won't know that unless you're there. A home inspection is a lot about education, so you want to be there to, to get the most out of it. That's awesome to hear all the things that a professional can do. Uh, and it's also super cool that there are resources out there for the potential home buyer. I know the folks over at Travelers, our sponsor, created this digital resource called Open House, which is powered by BuildFacts. I love it because anyone can go in, type in an address, and see if there have been any major permits pulled. For instance, let's say the roof has been repaired or if any major electrical or plumbing problems may have needed to be addressed. Helps the consumer see beyond the surface of the house. Speaking of beyond the surface, tell me how you might use an infrared camera. Well, infrared cameras are a great way for an inspector to see things or to identify things that you can't physically see. There are three areas that are very, very helpful for infrareds. Electrical, temperature, finally moisture. A lot of fun to use too. So this is an older infrared camera that I have. It's a very capable device, but it's turned into something like this. It's amazing what technology can do. How might an inspector use uh, this camera to show me what I'm working with in that area? An inspector is going to look at safety items, and we're looking at the electrical panel right now. This bloom right here shows us a source of heat. So this is one of two things. Uh, it could be a loose wire. It could be a circuit breaker that's about to go bad, but it's a great indicator for the inspector to let you know that there may be something going on here. Wow, yeah, definitely things I'd want to know about. What I've seen is a very well insulated home. and If it weren't, see this uh, area right here? Mm -hmm. The dark purple indicating a lack of insulation. This house is well insulated, but if there weren't insulation here, it's something the homeowner can take care of pretty easily. Moisture intrusion is a potentially big issue for a home, so we're very careful to look at perimeter walls. There's a land that slopes towards the house in this area, so this is potentially an area that will see water intrusion. So inspectors actually can see through the walls today, huh? Yeah, definitely. And these tools allow the inspector to offer great suggestions to the home buyer to improve the home. So the camera detects heat. Will it be able to tell how spicy my three alarm chili is? Uh, no. For more smart tips about home buying, visit travelers.com slash homecentral.